All right, hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, it's your boy, Taylor B. All right, man, check this out. So, as you guys know, there is a Jeffrey Dahmer series that's airing currently as we speak on Netflix. I haven't had a chance to check it out, but apparently it seems to be highly controversial. You've heard people saying um, they were appalled by watching the TV series, uh, Little Boosie went in on it, which I'll talk about that in another video. Me, myself, I haven't had a chance to check it out, but um, I guess I will watch at least one episode, one or two episodes before I come to the conclusion uh, whether I will continue watching it or not. So um, with that being said, I want to talk about the guy that got away from Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, it's like what they said at the beginning of some of those Friday the 13th movies, very few have saw Jason to live to tell the story. Well, he was pretty much the only one that actually went inside Jeffrey Dahmer's apartment and came out alive. And basically, um, I finally got a chance to like see who this guy was. Um, his name is Tracy Edwards. He was out of Louisiana. Now, his testimony was very interesting on how he basically encounter Jeffrey Dahmer. Basically, Jeffrey Dahmer, I guess, saw him and two other guys at a mall. And he, you know, approached Tracy Edwards, who was 32 at the time, because, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer had a thing for the brothers, you know. But nevertheless, basically, he gave a 30 minute testimony of what happened. It was pretty, pretty eerie what he was saying was going on, basically how uh, basically what happened was he said Jeffrey Dahmer offered him like a hundred dollars to take some uh photographs now the photographs he wanted the man to take was of him being in nude now he was asked was he a homosexual and basically he said he wasn't well we'll leave that alone you draw your own conclusion i know i'm not going to a man's apartment who offers me a hundred dollars to take uh nude photos but like i said we'll leave that alone and when he was describing the testimony, I mean, based off what he said, there was a lot of red flags that he should have saw when he walked into Jeffrey Dahmer's apartment. You know, he one, he said his house had a very funny smell to it. Then also he saw bottles of acid. First of all, what person would keep some acid in their house? First of all, when I would have saw bottles of acid, I would have got the hell up out of there. If I was that dude. He basically said to Jeffrey Dahmer, like basically got in a position to where basically he handcuffed the dude. Um, he held like a machete slash knife to him. And basically he was trying to attempt to like take him out. But that particular day, that particular day, Jeffrey Dahmer was going in and out, you know, I don't know if he was on demon time or whatever you want to call it, but he said basically he had the exorcist playing in his room. The dude said when he got to his bedroom, he saw a big ass barrel in his <laughs> What the fuck? I mean, what? But I mean, and he said basically Jeffrey Dahmer told him to lay on the floor, like on his back, because I guess Jeffrey Dahmer was finna, you know, take him out, but he refused to do it. He said Jeffrey Dahmer uh laid on him put his head on his heart and said that he was going to eat his heart and all that kind of stuff but basically to make a long story short when he basically was pretending i guess to go to the bathroom or whatever the case may be he said basically jeffrey dahmer he you know he was in a trance or something and he basically just socked jeffrey dahmer you know said he cracked him in the head <laughs> and he ran up out of there and basically he ran because he said at first he was thinking about jumping out the window. You know, but he basically ran until he saw some cops and the cops came back to his apartment and basically they arrested him and basically they found pictures and then they found uh, some remains of people in there. And basically he testified him in court. Um since then, unfortunately, um, well, he just ran into some problems, but it appears that he's still alive, but he's ran into some problems. Um, you know, even when he encountered Jeffrey Dahmer at the time, 
he was borderline homeless. He was in and out of shelters and stuff. So, um, you know, he was kind of going through it. But the question that I would like to ask, Jeffrey Dahmer did this stuff from 1978 to like 1991. And it appears nobody seen it had gave a damn. And he lived in what you would call a, a um, he lived in a neighborhood of pro, uh, probably, you, you know, he lived in a neighborhood that was, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, where people wasn't well off. We'll just say that much. And the people that lived in that area didn't look like him. But the amazing part about this is, like I said, nobody suspected nothing when they were seeing dudes going to this man's apartment and don't come out. I can promise you right now to I promise you right now, depending on where I'm at, if a white woman came in my house and she never came. I'm telling you right now, if 12 hours went by and they didn't see me walking her out the door, I can promise you the uh, cops coming to my house to do a welfare check. But. A lot of people believe due to the fact that primarily most of his victims were were black. Nobody really gave a rat's ass. And then the Milwaukee police uh, basically helped assist him and take it out. One of his victims, it was like a 14 year old uh, Asian boy. Basically, he tried to get away from Jeffrey Dahmer and basically uh, Jeffrey Dahmer basically told him that they was having like a lover spat. Wait a minute. 14 and Jeffrey Dahmer was like in his I don't know how old he was at the time but he had to be over 21 and basically they took the dude back to the place where Jeffrey Dahmer they believed Jeffrey Dahmer that they would just have some kind of spat and they basically escorted the 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 the, the kid back to Jeffrey Dahmer's place where he finished like you know taking him out that's crazy but nevertheless, um, if you want to see the dude's uh, testimony, it's on YouTube. But I found his testimony very interesting. But nevertheless, this is your boy Town Biz. I'm out. Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so um, ever since uh, it was announced that a Jeffrey Dahmer mini series or limited TV series, I don't really know the premise if it, if it's a limited TV series or just a TV series, but it appears that um, 